What is going on guys, Kieran here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers The Last Night Voyager Class Megatron. Now, oh my god guys, this guy is friggin' awesome. If you only get one Megatron toy, just make it this. This guy is really, really cool. I love the paint detailing on this guy, I think the jet mode is friggin' awesome. I really don't have many bad things to say about this figure, if any. I just, I love it. I've fallen in love with this figure completely. It is just really, really nice. It comes with a sword, as you can see here, it's the sort of weird sort of axe head sword that he uses in the film and you can see that just sort of pegs into the top of the vehicle mode there so that's nice little storage for you but the jet mode itself tabs together really really nicely and looks very very sleek very very cool i kind of wish there was just a little bit just to fill this little gap here but other than that i think this jet mode is near enough spot on i mean from the underside you can just it is a cybertronian jet so it's not going to be perfect but i really do think that this is one of the better last night figures now, if we get a bit of a closer look at him, you can see he's got sort of like an engine sort of intake there. Uh, we have some thrusters. Now, I, these kind of look like they're meant to be thrusters, but they're the wrong way around. And on the back here, they don't really have thrusters all, all that much, but whatever. Decepticon symbol there on his... Uh, that will be his chest in the robot mode. Loving the paint detailing on the, uh, the cockpit there. I love the actual colours of this guy in general. I think the gunmetal grey and the gold work really, really nice together. Very, very solid looking figure. Just for a quick size comparison, here he is next to the Last Knight Voyager Class Optimus Prime. So you can see that Megatron is a bigger figure because he is just a, he's a jet and he's got the uh, pretty wide wingspan, but he's also pretty long. Optimus Prime compacts down really, really nicely. So uh, yeah, they, they are, they're about the same size in the robot mode, but in the vehicle mode, you can see there is a pretty big difference. I think the uh, the mass shifting on uh, these Voyager figures is really good because Optimus Prime sort of just explodes into a cool knight looking robot and the Megatron pretty much does the same because uh, the mass shifting in the robot mode actually everything just compacts down really really nicely and it makes for a pretty involved and intelligent transformation. Speaking of the transformation, transforming this guy is actually a lot of fun and I really enjoy doing it. First thing you're going to do is take off the sword if you haven't already, come to these wings here and just unpeg these from the side and they just peg in nice and solidly with some little tabs in there. Then you're going to take the intakes, lift these up and then fold them out, like so, and rotate this around, just like that. Now I like to get the legs done first, so what we're going to do is we're going to just take these pieces and just fold these out. That will allow us to get this section, just lift that up and out of the way for a sec, and we'll just focus on the legs. Rotate them around, take his little foot here, and that actually just sort of pegs into the top of the wing. Take that out and just fold it around and flip his foot forward. And you can take the wing, and the wing is actually, it's pretty cool how they do this. It just wraps around his leg and uh, taps together. No fuss, no moss, it just it does the job. And uh, there is a leg. Same again on the other side. Unpeg his foot here, just like that. Rotate his foot around, and then just wrap the wing around his leg, and that pegs in nicely to a little tab, like that. And there are Megatron's legs. You can take these pieces and just fold them down. And uh, you can actually fold these down as well. And there are the leg sections done. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the arms. Actually, let me just adjust my camera just a little bit. Then uh, just take this section here, split this. This will become his arms. I'm going to rotate these little panels out, like so. I'm going to take this whole back section here, and this will just sort of fold out and down. You can rotate the head around while you're at it there. And then what this has to do is this has to hook in underneath like that. So this cockpit section is on, you know, basically that that just holds everything together really nicely. So I prefer to do that. Then just take the chest piece sections here, clip them together, fold out his little fusion cannon, and then flip out his hands. There, I hope that came across well on camera. There we go. Same on the other side, just flip out his arms and his hands there. And there is the last night Voyager class Megatron in his absolutely bitchin' looking robot mode. Now, I have got to say, I friggin' dig this guy's design. He looks absolutely amazing. Easily one of my favorite Voyager figures in recent memory. I think the transformation is just really clever. The vehicle mode is really nice and solid. The robot mode looks awesome. It looks menacing. Proportions are great. Detailing is really, really good. Honestly, I am i can't say anything bad about this guy. You should go out and get him. Even if you haven't really been collecting the movie figures, this is a very, very good Megatron figure in general. For a quick comparison, here he is next to Voyager Class Optimus Prime, just so you can see the two together. Now, they scale really well. I think in the films, they're about the same size. 
They look really, really nice on the shelf together. Honestly, I've been really impressed with these Voyager figures so far. I don't think there is actually a Voyager figure that I've gotten so far that I don't like. They, they, they're really good. I mean, what can I say? I mean, Optimus Prime's transformation is really cool, really clever. This guy is one of my favorite figures that I've had in a while. And so, so is Megatron. They are just a lot of fun. And they blow the deluxes for the last night out of the water. I think the Voyagers are just where it's at right now. Articulation-wise, he's, he's fairly decent. He is hampered in certain places, but we'll get to that in a second. And we have a little ball joint on the head there. You can rotate it left and right, and you can go up and down ever so slightly. It's just kind of hampered by just the way the neck's designed. The arms can rotate 360 degrees. can bend in and out up here. Rotate, bend at the elbow. The wrists are stuck in place. You can kind of move them due to the transformation, but that's just... That's that really. No waist articulation, unfortunately, but you can kind of see why. That's just how it's been designed. And uh, I don't really feel like they could have fit waist articulation on with the design of this guy. And the legs here can bend up and down, up at the, uh, the hip there, in and out, rotate at the thigh, bend at the knee, and the feet can sort of pivot on this little like second ankle sort of area. And you can rotate those as well, just to get them into some, you know, slightly more dynamic poses. I don't know. But yeah, pretty decent articulation all around. It's just. Every now and then he is just a little bit hampered by some of this side kibble here and just on his neck. In terms of molded detailing, this guy is crammed with it. And he's actually painted pretty well as well, which I was quite surprised with. The head sculpt there is really nice and mean looking. Unfortunately, you can't close these two uh, little panels here to make the sort of bull helmet that he has on in the film. That's kind of unfortunate, but whatever. It's, it's fine. I think the head sculpt looks really nice and mean anyway. He does kind of have light piping, but it doesn't really show off all too well. He also has some uh, little red accents in there, which I actually only just noticed. So pretty damn good overall. Um, nice black uh, paint detailing on the, uh, the ab section there. Got some nice silver, some gold. This guy has just been painted really nicely. He's got a bit more uh, of the silver, sort of gunmetal grey going on the legs there. Obviously, he can hold the sword, but you can also store it on his back here. And uh, you can just, you know, he's got a bit of weapon storage there. Now, the back section here, you can actually just fold this down even more and have it sit a little bit further down. That sort of, like, makes it so it's not as, it doesn't look as hunchback. But to be honest, that just makes it a pain in the ass to store the sword because it just gets in the way of his legs. So what I like to do is just sit this just a little bit further up. This piece will it'll be less sort of floppy and, you know, hanging around. That's what she said. And then um, you can just put the sword there and it just sort of stays out of the way. It sits a little bit more flush on his back. So if you can deal with that little extra piece there, I, I'd definitely do that because it just makes the sword storage just a little bit easier to do. Overall, guys, this figure is absolutely stellar. Even if you don't like... The Last Night as a film, I think this figure is absolutely more than worth your money and you should go out and buy him because he's, got, he's just, he's really, really cool looking. He looks like an awesome knight in the robot mode. The transformation is nice and involved. The vehicle mode taps together really nicely and looks damn cool if you ask me. I just, I recommend this guy. I really, really do. Go out and buy him. Anyway, that is it for the review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for next week because I believe my pre-orders are shipping for Nitro Zeus and Scorn. So uh, I'll have reviews of those going up ASAP. But there we go. Transformers The Last Night, Megatron, very highly recommended. Buy him.